Hey guys, welcome back. I will be teaching you now how to create your new world uh, terrain, set up the lighting correctly, um, in, as well as adding the atmosphere, the sun, sky boxes, the oceans, post processing effects, and a little sculpting to get you on your way of creating your first map. So we'll open the tools, we will create new. Just name it whatever you would like and launch. Then we'll go straight into the world editor. From here, top left, click create new world. Make sure base scene is selected and click OK. We'll now go to the create tab and type generic and drag the generic terrain entity in. Under object properties, we want to make sure all the coordinates are zeroed and click save. From here you want to right click the terrain entity, create new terrain and set the map size. So I'm going to do a 512 by 512, so it's a one kilometer squared area. This is quite a small map, this is good for a team deathmatch, spawn kill, spawn kill sort of game mode. From here, we will save again, and then in the Create tab, type Camera. We'll drag a Camera Manager on there. Up at the Play button, on the drop-down menu, you want to make sure Play from Camera Position is selected. This means instead of always playing from this location, if I'm over here and I click Play, I start from over here. <clears throat> All right. From here, we want to go and search for create for light. Drag generic world light entity onto the map. We'll set the angle X to negative 60. The angle Y, 270. 270 is from the east direction, so the sun will rise from there. Now, if we click on world on the right hand side here it says sky preset we want to type in atmos and select atmosphere now for the planets we're going to need one two three four on the first one we're going to type in stars the second one we will type in sun. Near the button at the bottom it says planets sun 01. Select that. The next one we will select moon. Uh, for the last one we will do clouds. And we'll select distant semi. For clouds renderer, we want to make sure sky vol clouds is selected. The clouds preset, we'll type in clouds, do clouds volumetric, ocean material, type in ocean, we will use the emat here, ocean simulation, so type in ocean again, sim island, lens flare config, we'll just type lens, select the config file there. Okay, now we'll get on to the post processes effects. So under the create tab, type PP, drag generic world PP effect in, and on the right hand side where it says profile custom, we will select that and we will select SSR. We're going to set priority to zero. Then we're going to drag a generic world PP effect in again. We're going to change this one to God Rays. We'll set this to 1. Then we'll drag another one in. We'll set this to Underwater Priority 2. We'll drag another one in. 
we will select SSDO. We'll set this priority to 14. Drag another one in. We will select HBAO. Set the priority to 15. Drag another one in. We'll select HDR. We'll set this to 16. And we'll drag another one in for PPAA. We'll set this to 17. Okay. So as you can see, the HDR is already working. The screen's adjusting its brightness depending on where you're looking. And what we do is on the right left side here where it says generic world PP effect, just select the top one, press F2. Whatever it says here on the right, same profile SSR, we'll just name that SSR. Go to the next one, it now says God Rays, so we'll change that to God Rays. That next one is Underwater. The next one, SSDO. And the final one is PPAA. What we'll do is we'll select God Race, hold left shift, select underwater, then hold left control and click SSR. We'll drag everything to the SSR. You now have a nice tidy folder, let's say. Um, so next thing we need to do in the resource browser so in the create tab we'll type in time and select time and weather manager entity drag that in this you can adjust the time of the day so drag it around to set if you want daytime nighttime etc oh Sorry, one thing we need to do here is weather state machine and uh, unsort it. Just click browse, type in weather, click weatherstates.config, weather parameters, again type weather, and select the parameters config file. Now, if we change the time, it goes to nighttime. Set this back to midday. Now this is where it gets fun. So we will select the terrain tool in the top. Bottom right terrain tool. We will select sculpt. Set the strength to let's say 45. The radius to 45. Fall off to 50. Angle to let's say 35. Before we get started, you want to click the save button at the top. Make sure you always save often. You'll never know when a crash is going to happen. So we just find where we want to start. So we're going to just click here. It'll say generate normal map. You click OK. Make sure you click yes. And now we can get to sculpting. I am now generating a landmass. If you just wiggle the map, um, the mouse around while left holding left click, you can slowly generate mountain ranges, hills, islands. Just like that. So if we go and click the play button now, it'll ask you to save, click save, and we're in game. We have a desert, press escape. Now what we'll do is we'll create a ground for this, so we we'll click the terrain tool again. We'll click paint, where it says default we will right click, change layers material. And let's say you want to put some grass down. 
make it nice and green. So select grass at the bottom. So terrains, common surfaces, grass. Select OK. We now have grass. Anywhere that is soggy and marshlandy like this, it's just because the ground is not high enough. It's almost into the ocean. As you can see. And that is uh, how you create your very own map. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one.